Hey guys, and welcome to the Yarn Journey Crochet Podcast. My name is Holly. I am the host. I live in North Carolina with my family. Um, welcome to all new subscribers. I know we've gotten a few, and welcome back to all you returning subscribers. This is a podcast about crocheting, knitting, yarn and hoarding, and now my shop update, like update updates. <laughs> So we will hop right in because my husband and kids are away right now. They're going to get Frosties at Wendy's. <coughs> um, excuse me. And I don't know how long they're going to be gone. So we're going to jump right in. Um, one thing I did want to mention is we are still doing the Supernatural Cal. Um, finished objects are on my Ravelry group. <coughs> oh, gosh, that's weird. Um, which is the Yarn Journey Crochet Podcast group. The chatter thread is on Crochet Luna, or Claudia, Claudia of Crochet Luna, <laughs> there we go, is on her Ravelry page, or her, like, Ravelry group, Crochet Luna. Uh, so that's where the chatter's at. I, as of now, I am not sure what she's giving away for prizes, but I have a pretty exciting update. So what I was planning on doing was dyeing up two skeins, one for each person, of Sam and Dean yarn. Um, and the lovely Catherine of Naughty Knitting Socks um, contacted me and wanted to know if she could send me a couple bags to give away to you guys as prizes. And of course I said yes, because I've bought her bags before and her bag is amazing. I love it. I use it a lot. Um, and she even upgraded you guys to the larger size bags. So she has gifted me two Supernatural bags. They are boxed bottoms. They are zipper. And they are huge. Let me tell you, like you could easily fit like, like if we're doing, we're talking like, Hand dyed yarn, you could easily fit like six balls in here. If we're talking like, this one's really messed up, but you could probably fit at least three or four. Now, if you're talking super savers, I would say about three. So, I mean, this thing is huge. So thank you so much, Catherine. You're amazing. Oh my gosh. So this will be going to two lucky winners with one skein of hand dyed yarn for each person. So that is like awesome sauce for prizes, in my opinion. I think that's awesome. So now that we got that out of the way, <laughs> let's get into the crocheting and knitting. So last week I was working on Emma's beanie, which I was just about finished with. And it took me a while because I stopped for a while because we did a lot of shopping. <laughs> for new furniture, which takes forever. And it never helps because you're doing it, we did it online. <clears throat> Excuse me. We didn't want to purchase in the area just because of Hurricane Florence. Um, I didn't know if I would trust the stuff we would be getting if it was previously damaged and made to look pretty and get it and there's mold or whatever. So we ended up purchasing online from, <clears throat> there we go. Felt like there was like something stuck in my throat. <laughs> um, so we ended up purchasing online, which let me tell you, I am not, a. I mean, I'm picky to a point, but I am not so picky that I would take forever to look through things. But my husband is. So I had to bear with his very, very pickiness for us to decide. But anyways, that is besides the point. I'm not even talking about that. Emma's beanie is finished. Um, I use the, let me see, I have it right here. The Knits for Everybody hat. It's the Knit Picks pattern um, by Joyce Fassbender. This is like my go-to hat pattern. Like so far when I follow it, it tends to fit who I make it for pretty well. 
Um, but sometimes when I mess with things, I end up making them too big. But hers fits her perfectly. It, it fits perfect. So my sister saw that I was making some beanies and she asked me to make my niece Heidi one, who is the newborn. Not so newborn anymore. She's a baby, but yeah. So I am starting that, which I've come to realize like knitting hats is like my go-to. It is so easy to knit a hat. It's quick. It's, you don't have to do any changes. Just a, one row of increase and then you're good until you get to the top and then there's like a few rows of decreasing and it is so much easy. It is so much easy. Come on, Holly. It's easy and enjoyable. <laughs> so I tend to just go for this. Um, I am using Paintbox Yarns, Simply Erin, in the 294 colorway. I like, so I have to explain, which this has stuff stuck to it, which is pretty gross, but it's just fabric from my jacket. I was opening a box, as people do, with scissors, you know, where you run along the tape. I don't know how I did this, but I was doing it and somehow sliced my finger. I, I have opened so many boxes at this point in my short 25 years of life that I have never cut my finger like that. So it was a little weird that I did that, but I did. So please excuse the neon green yellow band-aid. So yes, this is what I'm working on currently. Um, so I'm pretty sure I'll have this done within the week, which I'll probably be sending it off so you guys won't get to see it, but it is just like this plain baby pink. It's completely blowing out because I have an overhead light on right now. So it's just a really nice baby pink. Um, so that is that. Now for the piece of resistance, which I have not got to work on very much this week, because like I said, furniture shopping and then getting the furniture and having to put it all together, which of course we um, got this new desk, which is nice and fancy. We had to put the whole thing together. We are, I'm currently sitting in my now dining room before it was just like computer books, kids toys, kitchen over there. It was just a, basically just a room. Um, but it is now our dining room and I am sitting at our brand new dining set that we had to put together, which was mainly me because my husband spent <laughs> like two hours on one chair and he's like, I can't get the screws in. And I'm like, well, you got to do it this way. And I did it. And he's like, I quit. I quit. I'm done. You can do it. <laughs> so I ended up putting the dining room set together as well. So yes, a lot of building. So not much has gotten done, but let me pull this stuff out because it's all in the way. Oh goodness. Sorry. I'm totally being weird. It's been a long day. Today was cleaning day and our kids also wanted to be pain in the butt day. So it was rough. So last time I didn't put a lot on here, but last time I think I was like just right here. So I'm starting to get into the black. Um, as you can see, it's starting to straighten out a little bit. So not much. But I probably put in like four rows, four or five rows, maybe. Nothing to brag about, which while I'm sitting here, where's my stitch marker? Oh, there you are. I'll move it so I actually know where I was at last time because this, I forgot to move it last podcast and... So now we know because it's my super short show. Sorry. That was, <laughs> that was, um, a show. Like, I don't even know how long ago it was on Disney when I was a kid. 
So yes, that is the progress progress I've made. So yeah, it was probably like one, two, three, like four rows. Not much, unfortunately. I'm hoping to work on it more this week. Um, yeah. I'm really hoping to work on it this week because I want to make a bigger dent in it because it's it's getting to the point now where it's like, oh my gosh, I can see the pattern emerging. I can see, I can see it. We're almost there. Not even, but anyway. <laughs> um, so we will do a quick what's going in the shop this Friday. So Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is 2 Western or 2 Pacific Western. Oh my gosh. 2 p.m. Pacific time. I am not sure what it is in the UK or anywhere else because I just don't know. I'm sorry. Um, so I do have a spring collection coming out, which is coming this Friday. I've already said that. Oh my gosh. I am so out of it, guys. I'm so tired. It is 7 p.m. right now, and I've been cleaning all day since about 8.30. Yeah, because we had a big mess from all the boxes and styrofoam, which it seemed like no matter how much I swept, the styrofoam kept multiplying those little round styrofoam dots that come off the big pieces. They multiply somehow, and I couldn't get them all up, and it was driving me crazy. So in the spring collection, I have six new colorways. But I do have some other colorways that you guys have not seen that I think you'll be excited about. So the first one is, and I'm hoping this lighting is probably not going to do any justice at all. But, oh, yeah, that is so washed out. So this is the Green Man colorway, which has, like, these dark, like, as you can see, there's, like, really dark patches of green and then some lighter ones, some mid-tone greens. So I am loving this green. Um, and I ended up messing one up <laughs> really bad. Well, I wouldn't say messed up. It just doesn't look the same as this one. So I'm keeping so this is Green Man. There's two, and this is on the 8020 base. This is a two ply 8020, 400 yards. So perfect for a pair of socks. Um, sorry if you heard that crinkle, like weird suctiony cup sound. Um, and then here is the pink lemonade colorway. I don't know why I'm holding up two at a time because I'm weird. Um, and we have one, I can't remember if it's one or two. So we have two on the 100% Merino, which please excuse this. It's just like some of them are really, I can't, some of the strands got really loose and I don't know why. But this is a yellow and pink colorway, um, which is pink lemonade. So we have two on the 100% Merino, um, Superwash Merino, and then one on the 7525, which I do have to say, after working with the 8020 and the 7525, I would definitely say the 8020 is a little squishier. But because it's a two ply, I'm not a fan of the way it takes the color. Where the four ply, I feel like, takes the color better. But, anyways, that's besides the point. I'm just thinking out loud here. So, 175.25 and then two of the 100% merinos. And then this one is my favorite. So, like, so much my favorite. So much my favorite. So, this one is called Ostara, and it is a speckle. 
it is gorgeous here let me get my big huge honking hands out of the way so this one has purple blue pink this nice dark yellow um this one is my favorite and i really want to steal one of these but i have a feeling other people might like it just as much as i do so and it also has like nice speckles of green it is super pretty and this comes on the 75-25 and the 100% Merino base. Um, so yeah, there's two of each on that one. And then this next one is Daffodil Delight, which is this pretty yellow with pink, green, and purple speckles. I'm not sure if there's blue in here. There might be. I should know this. I dyed it. <laughs> but when you're sitting here making so many different ones at once, yeah, I don't think there's blue because if I did, it would have just turned green on this anyways. Um, so green, pinks, and purple speckles on a yellow base, like a really nice pale yellow base. And that is also two on the 100% Merino, super wash Merino, I should say. And then the 7525. Um, next one is Fairy Season, which is this really pretty pink base, which like I said, my lighting right now is not doing any favors for this yarn because right now that looks like I don't even know. Um, but this has purple, blue, yellow, and green speckles on a light pink base. And this is called fairy season so like as you can see like right there like you get these nice like chunks of speckle so these are more lightly speckled i have a tendency to go very heavy-handed <laughs> when i speckle um so that is these so daffodil delight and fairy season are lightly speckled um and those are also on the 100% Superwash Merino and 7525, two on each. And then this bad boy, which I stole a skein of this, <laughs> is um, this is Evening Rain, and it is a blue base with green and gray speckles. And there's even like some pinkish red speckles in here, just to kind of vary it up a little bit. So I'm trying to learn the art of lightly speckled yarn. <laughs> and like I said, this is washing it out so bad. But if you check on Instagram and look at the photos in my Insta stories, that is probably the best representation of color besides the Etsy photos, which I have not put up yet because it's not Friday. So that one, there is, let's see. Two 7525s and 100% merino. And then that is it for the spring collection. I did say that was evening rain, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. So we'll go to the ones that are the 8020s that um, are going to be coming up in the shop that were previously mini skeins that I did not get around to getting up last friday which i know i said i was going to do a mini update last friday but um that didn't happen because they didn't dry in time so yeah i will show you what we have so this one kind of stumped me a little bit because i was looking to try and do red which i clearly did not use enough color so this is mermaid hair which is this really bright pinkish red like pinky red like it is so washed out right now um i could not think of a name for this like i was like dragon's breath and my husband's like no it should be more red i i couldn't think of anything so i asked instagram and i can't remember who said it because my instagram story is gone now at this point 
Um, someone said Ariel, but it is not bright enough red to be Ariel's hair. So I kind of did a little inspiration from hers and did mermaid hair. And this is 7520, or this is the 8020, 400 yards. And there is two of these that are ready to go up in the shop. And then we also have full skeins on the 8020 of Everglades, which, oh my gosh, the way these came out, I am so excited. So it's a black into a dark forest green into this like acidy green and the apple color. I love it. So there will be two of those up on the shop as well on Friday. And then I did two big skeins of Summer Sky on the 8020. Summer Skies. There we go. Yeah, there's an S. Um, which is just that nice bright yellow with a sky blue white. Love it. And then, so this one looks a bit different from the mini skein, but I love it all the same. It is beautiful. And this is pretty much what I had in mind when I made the mini skeins, but it didn't quite turn out right. So this is English Garden, the correct way. <laughs> so it has this nice hay color with that acidy green that fades into that dark forest green and then a nice plum purple that fades into that wine wine red wine color it is so beautiful those are also on the 8020 two of them will be going up in the shop i try to keep the amount smaller um just because I want to get a good amount of colors. So for now, this is probably going to be where we're at for a little while. Um, so, yeah. Um, I was going to say something and I totally blanked. Okay, anyways, back to the yarn. So this is Northern Lights and colors are... So there's pinks, teals, greens, navy blues, um, purple. Oh my gosh, my big old band-aid hand. And this one came out so pretty. Like I want to steal like one of every color, but I can't do that because then I would never make money. So... <laughs> Northern Lights, two of them are going up also on the 8020 base. Um, and then we have okay, that one too. This is Shoshone or Shoshone um, on the 8020 base, and this one is going up as well. Two of them. This one has the orange, the pinks, greens, browns, blues teals oh i'm loving it i know i'm sorry i toot my own horn i should be humble i understand that but at the same time you got to be proud of what you make you know because if you can't be proud of it why would anyone want what you have if you can't say i love my stuff i would use it it's great you should use it too so Last up is Birdie Bots, the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> so here we go. Um, here, I'll use this one because there's more speckles showing. This has heavily speckled um, of all different colors. There's pinks, there's reds, greens, blues, yellows, oranges. I mean, there's a little bit of everything in here. And it's on this like pale pinkish base. So this is Birdie Bots, which is so cute. And that is it that is going up in the shop. Um, a lot here, but I am so excited. And I feel like 
the launch on March 1st didn't go as much as I like as well as I planned because most of the ones that I had up were mini skeins and I realized I kind of missed the boat on the mini skein thing because mini skeins tend to sell really well near Christmas time and that's when I bought the yarn was right after Christmas off the oh everyone's doing mini skein projects right now so I should get mini skeins only problem is no one's doing mini skein projects right now because you know advent calendars are not out right now so I don't know if I'm going to take those down and just wait till Christmas or leave them up and just wait till Christmas and people can buy them then I am not sure, but I just like, it dawned on me and I was like, you missed the mini skein timeline, ding dong, like hello. Um, so yes, I am super excited to get these full skeins up and I feel like that one will go so much better. Um, yeah, so life update. If you haven't noticed, my face might look just a tee teeny bit different um so <laughs> yesterday we were driving all around town and I decided well let's go get a nose piercing so if you can't tell well no you can I got my nose pierced yesterday um so it was really spur of the moment I've been wanting to do it for I don't know maybe a couple years now but it was just like I just never got around to it well, there's a bird perched on my fence hello birdie it looks like a robin he's like he's waiting for some worms um so I've been wanting to do it for some time now but I just haven't gotten around to it hi Lily I haven't gotten around to it so yesterday out of nowhere we passed the shop a few days ago come on and it was a tattoo place that does piercings as well oh yes you so cute so i decided you know what i'm gonna go get my nose pierced so i ended up and i got it pierced and oh, you're so cute i'm sorry i'm getting so distracted with her you're so cute um so yeah other than that, starting this business has been a bit of a roller coaster, let me tell you. Because I love dying, but it's hard dying in your kitchen. And most dyers start out in their kitchen. That's where they start. But none of them ever tell you. It is difficult to dye yarn in your kitchen because of the fact that you only have four burners on your stove and typically you're using long pans. So you can only do two pans at a time. And that takes a long time when you're trying to dye up multiple batches of different colors and you have to clean each pan after every time. Like it's a lot. It is very time consuming. I mean, just dyeing the, the spring collection alone, not including dry time. Like, this is just active dye time and, like, washing and stuff. It took me over six hours. Six hours. And that's also not including the before and after cleanup because you have to, like, clean everything beforehand because you don't want any food contaminating your yarn, you know, you don't want last night's spaghetti sauce that spilled on the counter that you forgot to wipe up to get up, you know, like on your yarn. <laughs> but then after, because you're working with acid dyes, you have to wipe down everything. So that's, that has been a lot because there's times when I thought I've cleaned things and like all of a sudden I'll accidentally get it wet and I'm like, oh crap, there's dye on that. Which is like, you know, things that you have in your kitchen that aren't necessarily used. So like 
I have like canisters, for example, on my counter that I have sugar and flour in, but I can't even eat flour anymore. And I don't use the sugar that often, so they don't get opened. So they're not contaminated on the inside, but like as I'm cleaning, I'll wipe them down and I'll see like dye on it. I was like, oh crap. So that's, that's been like, that happened the very first time I died. And ever since then, I'm like, I got to wipe down everything. Like I'm wiping counters and cabinets, like everything, like a crazy person. Um, so yeah, that is, that's been a learning experience. Emma is doing really well in school, which we do homeschool. We are a homeschool family. Um, so that in itself has been a journey and a lot of work. Um, yeah, just doing the daily stuff that everyone does, which is pretty boring. <laughs> but I am pretty sure they're going to be home soon. So I will let you guys go. And I hope you have a wonderful week. And I'll see you guys in two weeks from now. Bye.